On Thursday, police charged middle school teacher Joseph Tenno with two counts of second degree child molestation after two students came forward with allegations against the teacher. The affidavit says that the Essex Hopkins middle school math teacher touched two students inappropriately. According to Providence schools, Joseph Tenno was put on paid administrative leave back in December and is still being paid by the district at this time. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live in studio with those details. Matt. Well, Kim, Mike, according to Providence Schools, Joseph Tenno was hired as a part of the Rhode Island Department of Education's emergency certification process. One of just 413 teachers hired in the Providence School District through this process. On Thursday, Providence police charged Joseph Tenno with two counts of second degree child molestation. After according to a police affidavit, two students brought claims forward that Tenno touched them inappropriately. The Providence School District sending 12 News a statement about where Tenno's job status stands. Reading in part, the district was first made aware of the allegations against Mr. Tenno on December 8th, 2022, at the end of the day for students and staff. Mr. Tenno was placed on administrative leave with pay immediately on December 9th, 2022, and he remains on paid administrative leave at this time. While it may not be easy for parents to discuss situations like this with their kids, for local child psychologist Dr. Tanucha Gandhi, she says no matter what is going on in your child's life, having an open line of communication is key. The best way to open a conversation is to let the child know you're there for them. In difficult conversations about any topic for the parents, really doesn't get easier. Dr. Gandhi sharing signs parents should be looking for, indicating it may be time for a difficult conversation. If you see a change in their daily functioning, if they aren't eating well, sleeping well, or any kind of activity that they enjoyed previously, I think that's a moment to take note, making sure that, you know, whatever conversation you're having, you always leave space and room for the child to come back to you at a later time. So leaving room for a follow up conversation is important. 12 News also asked, why hasn't Mr. Tenno been fired at this point? And the school responding with no comment at this time. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News. Tim, thank you. We are following up tonight on the Providence Middle School teacher charged with child molestation. We first reported Joseph Tenno's arrest yesterday. Tonight, we've learned new information about the process that led to his hiring. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock tells us what he's uncovered. Matt? Mike, Joseph Tenno was put on paid administrative leave back in December and is actually still being paid by the district at this time. On Thursday, Providence police charged this man, Joseph Tenno, with two counts of second degree child molestation. According to a police affidavit, two students, a sixth and eighth grader coming forward about the middle school math teacher, claiming he inappropriately touched them. According to the Rhode Island Department of Education, Tenno was hired as a part of their emergency certification process, which was formed to help school districts cope with employment obstacles after the pandemic. According to Providence schools, there are currently 413 classroom teachers working under the emergency certification process. In a statement from Ride about the program, they said in part, Ride certification application also includes legal questions for candidates, including whether they have been convicted of a felony or misdemeanor or have charges pending. After a deeper dive, Tenno had no prior run-ins with the law outside of traffic violations. Providence School sharing a statement with 12 News about that hiring process, which reads in part, During the hiring process, Mr. Tenno completed the required State Attorney General Background Check, or BCI. The report indicated, in accordance with federal and state law, that Mr. Tenno did not have any disqualifying information. The district takes these allegations and the safety of our students extremely seriously. 12 News also asked the district, why hasn't Mr. Tenno been fired at this point? And they responded with no comment at this time. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.